I need a seat. So, it all started maybe four hours ago now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, it started four hours ago. Uh, it started with um, me pulling up outside the apartment for Tsunami. Actually, no, this started... Wait, it started at the Tsunami. It started Tsunami. That Pulled up to uh, two of my boys, and I said, yo, when are you man finally taking me on a job? Let's fucking go. Let's do this. I have a green dongle. Let's get active. Let's do this shit. So we, you know, I start riding around with them. We hear a little fleek. Mm -hmm. Um, we, and, and on the way there, I'm flirting with Jenny on the mic. Oh, I'm wait. getting my car repaired. Oh, she, oh okay, gotcha, gotcha. By the way, I'm just put it out there. Any of you flare with Jenny on a mic? Oh, right. oh, you got your eyes on it like that, huh? I feel it, I feel it. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna put you in a split. Gotcha, gotcha. Ima imagine flirting with a cream pie artist. He yeah, acted. Now she's, she's like a sister to me. I don't look at her like listen, that. Listen, I don't talk to me about cream pies, okay? <laughs> Alright. Anyways. Ah, uh, yeah. So then, uh, one other boy, one of one other of our boys, came along and joined. So we went and we did a flea con. Got blue dongle, out of it. So then nice. we decide, hey, let's go hit a Polito. I drive for this fleeker and I lose them within like 30 seconds of the chase. Like yeah, I did a, the chase was, the, 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 the bank was Great Ocean. And by the time that I got into the city, I had lost them. Damn. Standard, standard. Good shit. Yeah. So then we did a Polito. The Polito, something similar, like four units pulled up. And this time, we fucking do that shit. We start getting into a chase. I'm again driving. And this time, we're dri driving in uh, my boy's uh, exemplar. And that shit's souped up. And that shit is insanely quick. But some fed, I don't know who the fuck it was, had an insane CVPI that was, like, all souped up and shit because he was on my fucking ass the whole time. Mm. So then... I dropped my boy off at a bike. And then I dropped my other boy off at another bike. And yeah, we do a little switch and go. Yeah. At the like they didn't they don't catch either of them. And they start chasing me again. And then I lose them once again at 30 seconds. They chased my boy, he lost them, chased them again, lost them, chased them again and lost them. We ended up getting away. We now have two red dongles. Nice. We now have two red dongles and, uh, <clears throat> and, you know, like it was my it was my green dongle and my blue dongle. So he, uh, my boy, asked me, "Yo, are you gonna like, hey, yo, can I have the red dongles?" And I said, "You can have them if you let me come with you." Mm-hmm. So then, after, like, what seemed like forever of just us trying to find Thermite for that job, we finally get on to the big boy job. Yeah. We start doing that shit with one hostage. <coughs> and we're using my car, my Revolta. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, I had... I had my boy and my boy Cookie with me, you know what I'm saying? Jack. Yeah. And he's a fucking bad man driver. But this was my car and my baby. So I was saying, nah. Nah, I'm I'm keeping like, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm driving. I drove for the first job, second job, and the third job. Good shit. And this was, happened to be my first Polito as well as my first Volt. 
Damn. So this time another motherfucker joins who just speaks very fast and is always on sound looks like he's on crack. You know what I'm saying? Just always at a mile, a thousand miles per hour. So Yeah, we do the vault, no problem. We get away. We start we start driving away. And I drop this motherfucker off at a bike. Mm -hmm. Him and his boy leave and get on a bike. <clears throat> Me and Cookie stay in the car. Once again, within 30 seconds, I lost them. Good shit. Um, I gotta see this guy drive. So then they stay on him, and now they have a whole bunch of motherfuckers on him. They're trying to get away, they're doing everything they can. And then I hear on the radio that my boy needs a pickup. I'll go to the jewelry store. And I watch him get cuffed. So then I instantly radio in. I'm like, yo, your boy got cuffed. And this motherfucker turns around like, nah. I'm about to go save his ass. Oh, shit. N not 10 seconds later. And this motherfucker is rolling through in a Sanchez. What's up, Davey? Hops off the Sanchez. Grabs his boy by the arm. Hops back on the Sanchez and just drags his ass across the road. Oh, Hops no. off the bike. Puts him in the bike. And they start driving <clears throat> off in a hail of gunfire while I'm covering them with my car. <laughs> they then lose all their tires after keeping the chase going. And they then turn around and say, yo, I need a pickup. So then I turn around, I'm like, all right, cool. And then they get in my car. They start shooting at me. And they pitted, so I lost the tire. Then they start pitting the fuck out of me. And they pit me so hard that they eventually end up pitting me over the safety guard of the of the highway. Damn. And I ended up falling down and flipping the car at VU. And it was like I was like an <clears throat> inch away from getting away from them. And the car oh, flipping fully. Oh. But I was like an inch. So then my boy is now still cuffed in the back of the car. And we both run off, and me and my other boy, we run off in different directions. This motherfucker turns around and says, we're saving him. And I'm thinking, I'm saving my car. <laughs> I'm telling this motherfucker, I'm going back for my car. They've set up a whole fucking perimeter. They're up on rooftops. It's a madness. So then... I go off and I grab my shit so that I can like, you know, feel good, feel better. And then, and then, and then my other boy is on the bike still. And we all reconvene back at the VU. I jump on top of a highway. Oh yeah, wait, no, wait. I forgot a very crucial, important part. I, we, when we flipped, I, we got into a foot chase. I got into a foot chase with one fed for like, what seemed like eternity and I ended up all the way down at the fucking south side and then I eventually turned around and said to myself if I'm not gonna fucking destroy this guy, this guy it's not gonna happen this motherfucker just keeps on, kept on tasing me kept on tasing me kept on tasing me I was like okay he's surely out of tase now so then I climbed the building and this motherfucker surely enough follows me up this building he has about enough time to get up the building before I sunk seven shots into him with my deagle. Damn. This man says 78. Bleh. I run across the street, get in a car, go to apartments, change up, fucking grab everything that I need to grab, switch guns. Then I go back to the scene, to the view. We've reconvened with all three other boys. And the one guy is still in cuffs in the car. They've set up a perimeter. There's like hella feds. My boy turns around. He goes, I'm going to start shooting. And then next thing I know, <laughs> I am hearing bow, bow, grr, grr, bow, 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 grr, grr. So I'm like, hell no. Nah. I see two fucking feds just chilling at the fucking rooftop. Just sitting ducks. I have no idea why they can't even see me. I'm on the other side of the highway on the other side of the fucking divider. I long range just start slapping corn at their heads. 
And this one fed decides he wants to try and jump up on top of the roof. A little, little, a little safety barrier to try and get me down. And it's me. Now it's me. Me just fucking sitting there, open, open, uh, open fire in the middle of the fucking highway versus a fed with an AR with just me and my deagle. I slap off his head top with versus the AR and I just watch his body drop. Then my boy, who's also in the highway, grabs the other one and just fucking clamps him down. Then all I'm hearing on the radio is I got two down. Next thing I know, <laughs> we've blammed down four, five feds at this point. Damn. But we still have Air One on us. I think. Or, or, or we, we had lost Air One at that point. All I know is that I asked my boy later on what the fuck happened to Air One. And this motherfucker turns around and says, Oh, my boy had this gun that was ridiculous. And he one tapped the helicopter. And it just dropped. What the fuck? So... One hell of a morning. One hell of a, one hell of a day, man. So then... Bruh. Mm. So then I hop back in my little fucking stolen vehicle, <laughs> hey, right? Dude. And this... And, and now we've like fucking took down like... What seems like... 10,000 feds. And then I say, I'm saying I'm getting my fucking car. I fucking go down there. I hit my car and flip it. And the boy and my boy is still in the fucking back of the car. So I get in the car, save the car, save the boy. Oh, by the way, GSF got clapped the fuck up. I don't know by who, but they got slapped up. And oh, for shit. some reason, the GSF boys had ass lock picks on them. The and fuck? they just so happened to, to, to like, I, I ran through their pockets and I took that shit. I didn't, I didn't rob them. They gave it to me. Good shit. Good shit. Didn't rob them. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? They, they were like, uh, bro, listen, I felt so bad. They were all on the ground. They had been just shot up and I pulled up like, hey, man, we're so sorry to inconvenience you, but <laughs> we need ass lock picks. My boy's in the back. He's cuffed. I flopped the first one and then we had to go back for the second one. <laughs> oh, good shit. And Me then that was, and then, and then, and then, oh, I forgot another important detail. I hit my car and I fucking, I hit my car and I got it back up right at the VU after it flipped, right? Yeah. I get out of my shitty vehicle that I had stolen after I blammed that one fed up. And surely enough, the moment I get out the car to get in my car, I see seven motherfuckers hop out of the trunk. What the fuck? Seven motherfuckers hopping out of the boot. All I'm seeing is the boot shitting out motherfuckers left and right. And they're all saying, vehicle switch, vehicle switch, vehicle switch. And I don't know whether to open up the boot for them or to just... Or to just tell them, yo, like, get the fuck out of this. Get the fuck out of the situation. Yeah. I have no fucking clue how the fuck these men... All fit, all put themselves in my car. I have no fucking bro. I picked up some random fucking car on the street. Yeah, so unless these motherfuckers were sitting there in that car for like half an hour or an hour or three hours just waiting for someone to come and steal that one car, I have no fucking idea how the fuck them man got in the car. Wow. <laughs> Fucking seven people. So that was that. So we wiped out PD. I made a shit ton of money. And we all got away somehow. And I saved my car. <laughs> Bro. One hell of a fucking day. That's a W right there. That's this all happened w. in like four hours. That's fucking crazy. I love it. 
Hey, Cap, where were you, where were you when all this was happening? Um, in bed. <laughs> got you, got you. I'm Damn. not done yet. What else? What else? What, you, what else you got? So after all of this is done, right? Everything done, all of that. Mm -hmm. I've just we've done exactly that shit. We split the cuts, and two of the boys go to sleep. And surely enough, I'm driving towards my house to just try and put everything away. And I'm going down the highway, mm -hmm. and I hear sirens. <laughs> Meanwhile, my ass is sitting with a big boy fucking inked bag just hanging out of my ass. And like 150k is worth of shit in my pockets. They, I get pulled over. Oh no. In a fucking bison. That's fucked up. I, they pull up to me and I said, listen, I'm so sorry. I fucking had speeding. My name is Dwayne Flores. I fucking, I fucking, I was late for a, a record label meeting. I have a, I have a record label, blah, blah, blah. I've been running around crazy. Just be in business meeting, business meeting. I'm so sorry. I sped, blah, 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 blah. So this fed turns around and she says, I'll cut you a break. Just get out the car. And walk away. Huh. Sounds good, right? Yeah. One little detail. What? I have a fucking huge bag hanging out <laughs> of my ass. <laughs> That's right. Oh, shit. May I have a meal, please? So, by some fucking God given miracle. Meal, my boy hops out the car uh, and he starts just waffling to them. And as he does that, I hop out the car as well. <laughs> and I just bolt. I just fucking dash off into the mountain as if I'm late for my meeting and I need to go run to this fucking meeting now. And that's a great story, is a kid. <laughs> Listen, motherfucker. His name is not Zakid. Do Zakid? I look oh, like Zakid. fucking Zakid? Uh, yeah, a little bit. His oh. hair is red. It's impossible to change the hair color. You're lucky I like you, fam. Fuck my life, blood. Sorry. Yeah, you're good, bro. Oh, goddamn, dude. Bro. The, um, I, I gotta show you something before I head off to 